today's video, I'm going to be showing you a nice little passing concept that you can use under center in Madden NFL 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, I do Madden 21 tips and tricks videos, breakdowns every single day here on YouTube. We do about four of these videos a day. We upload at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock. Uh, PM Eastern time so make sure to subscribe and make sure to turn on your notifications so that you never miss one of our um, video breakdowns now today what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you guys um, a nice little under center uh, formation that is actually very very similar to a shotgun formation that we all know and that is the gun bunch now the plays as you can see here this is in the New England Patriots playbook and you can have some pretty good little plays here. Uh, one of the plays that you can use is this bunch dig play. Another play that you can use is this PA boot slide. You obviously have the four verticals and you have the PA fork shot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out in the uh, PA counter waggle. I think this is a pretty nice little play here. But if you're looking to have kind of an under center bunch scheme, this is not the, I mean, it's not the perfect bunch scheme but it's actually fairly effective we're going to show you why and you can turn these plays into really really effective uh, route combinations with just a couple simple hot routes so the first play that we're going to go over here is and again guys this is from our new england patriots offense now uh, we're in the midst right now of writing a ebook on the new england patriots offensive playbook and we're almost done we've written the whole ebook spans over 200 pages of material we literally broke down everything there is to break down from this playbook it's the most comprehensive guide on the new england patriots playbook some people just release one formation of it we're going to be releasing the entire thing uh, for you guys on um uh, on our channel so uh, real quick just real quick about the ebook like i said it's i've got to do the videos still but once it comes out it should be out either tonight or tomorrow um, and once it comes out, we'll let you know, we'll give you guys a heads up, but if you want to be notified or want to know as soon as that ebook releases, um, all you have to do is just text me and let me know you want to get that message. So my number is 812-216-3644. Literally all you gotta do is just say, Hey Cody, what's up? I want to know when the New England Patriots ebook drops. I'll save you in my phone and then I'll send you, uh, I'll send you a message whenever we drop it. Okay. So anyway, let's just jump right in here. So first and foremost, uh, what you have in this formation, what I actually like about it is it's kind of compressed and under center is getting better. Um, it, it, it wasn't good and then it was good and now it's getting, I think it's getting a little bit better. Um, with the user rush, it makes it a little bit challenging. But uh, we'll start with PA boot uh, slide. So PA boot slide, as you can see right here, um, this is a very similar play. And all we're going to do is we're going to take uh, Mike Evans. Now, if you have a slot apprentice, um, if you would put him on a corner route, that would be genius. But what we're going to just do is put him on a curl or put him on a smart routed uh, hitch route. Because he's on the line of scrimmage, what you'll see uh, with that smart route hitch route is at the snap of the ball, if they press, he's going to beat press coverage to the inside very easily. He's going to settle up noose and he is going to um, just easily torch that man-to-man -man coverage. Now, the next route on the play that I want to talk about and you can leave the play action on or you can cancel it. It's up to you. Um, I think, you know, most people expect you to run out of under center bunch. When you start passing, um, it can be really, really effective. You see that this route to Godwin is the same route as we have on double post. Um, this route right here is very, very similar to the double post route from the Carolina bunch. So what I can do with this, I could put the running back on a flat here also. Um, and then, you know, I can just check, check down to the shoot flat. Very easy read against man-to-man -man coverage. If they're not paying attention to the running back, I can take that all day. Um, but the next thing I wanted to show you was this route to uh, to uh, to Chris Godwin real quick one more time. So what you'll see here against man-to-man -man coverage, he's going to win that every time. He's going to get that inside position, inside release, and he's going to win every single time. Okay, So that's an easy, easy read against that man-to-man -man coverage. Now what you can do also off of this is you can kind of do – uh, some other things as well. You can run this bunch dig play, right? And what I can do is I can motion Godwin to the right, snap once he gets to the outside. You'll see I can low ball pass lead him inside against man-to-man -man coverage. And the one thing you want to do when you run bunch dig is you want to make sure that you're smart routing Mike Evans' route. If you don't smart route the route, it can run into some issues, in my opinion, against man. But you'll see I just low ball that right there. 
Now, the next thing that you can do on this is you can pass to uh, your post route to Mike Evans. You see he's kind of in a compression alignment, so they're going to have to take an extra step, an extra adjustment to man align this. If they don't man align, they're, I'm man aligned right now, and they're still not pressing up. So if they don't you know, take care of that adjustment, then you can hit them right there. Another thing you can do on this is even once they've pressed up, you'll see once he gets off the jam, he's going to beat man to the inside. Very easy read for your offense. So a lot you can do from this. Another thing that you can do from this formation is you can run – the play, uh, da, 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 where's that? PA fork shot. Uh, this PA fork shot play is, I think, pretty powerful uh, in everything that you can do. So basically, what we're going to do on this right here is we're going to take Chris Godwin's route and just smart route him and motion him to the left. And this is going to basically be a little bit of a slant out. You want him in motion, snap of the ball. Now he's not always going to beat man to man. But what you can see is Mike Evans' route coming over the top of him will typically be man-to-man. -man. And this is more of a zone beater. Um, like, for example, if they're in cover two on that left side, this is a nice little route, uh, in my opinion, that can take advantage of that out of uh, PA fork shot. So I'm just going to run, you know, a basic, uh, basic cover two right here. So I could turn this into a simple flood. But putting, you know, Mike Evans on a streak, you know, putting this simple route combination on the field right here. And what you'll see is this this little route to the outside is going to torch cover two. You'll get a lot of cover two when you're in a single back bunch. I guarantee it. So that's a nice route to have. Another thing you have at your disposal is four verticals. Now, four verticals, I think, is starting to make its way to be much, much more of an effective play. But all you're going to do is you're going to motion Godwin to the right right here. And because you're in her center, you're going to be able to snap throw this against any deep zone, whether they're in cover three, cover four, anything like that, as long as they're not in cover two. So you're going to force them to play cover two on that side of the field. Now let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is cover three. We're going to play hard flats on the outside. Okay. And what you'll see here, he's going to motion out. Again, you're under center. So you're going to get this ball out quick. Pass lead that outside, and as you can see, it's going to beat the cover three defense to the outside. Now, this is going to force them to play cover two, but the problem with playing cover two against this specific route in the four verticals is you motion him out right here, and what you'll see is there's going to be a pocket, a window, to be able to hit this route. As long as I don't get a throw out of sack, there's going to be a pocket to hit that route behind the cover two defense. So really what they're probably going to do um, against four verticals, their best solution is to play man. And with this formation being a nice little compression, we actually have some solutions that we can offer you to keep the same route integrity, but to still be able to beat man to man. So this is cover two. Once he gets past that backside corner, just pass lead him outside. As you can see, he's going to be able to to beat that corner now what if they go man-to-man -man against four verticals well let me show you what's going to happen so if they go man-to-man -man against four verticals then what i'm going to do my checkmate is to basically obviously everything else that our offense is going to is going to do a good job but i like to put the running back on a little shoot flat route and then i like to take mike evans and put him on a, a smart routed hitch route so if they're going man-to-man -man coverage what you'll see is he's going to be a check down okay i'm just going to check it down to that curl check it down to that out check it down to that hitch um, you'd be surprised at how effective these little hitches, these little um, curls uh, are really, really, really are good this year. And we'll show you what I'm talking about one more time. So I'm just going to take him, put him on the little smart route of hitch. You'll see against press man, he's going to come open. And it's just a low ball inside right to the right to the receiver. So there's a lot you can do with this little scheme right here. Like I said, I think PA fork shot's pretty solid. This PA counter waggle. It's actually really, really good. What I like to do is take take um, Gronk, and I'm going to put him on a streak or a curl route. Okay, put, put Gronk on a streak or a curl. And then Bray, you can leave him on that little shoot flat route. Another thing you can do is put him on a hitch route. I actually love this hitch route this year, but let me just show you what I'm going to do. And, again, you can take Godwin. You can smart route it. You see it's going to turn him into this little angle uh, right here. I actually kind of like to leave him stock on this just for the spacing of the routes. But what you'll see is we're going to motion to the left. Once he gets over here, we just want to get that little nice motion snap, and you'll see that that route is going to be man uh, right there. Levante David just made a great play. And that's why I typically like to leave him on his, uh, on his route just stock. So something like this right here, literally just motion him over. And now what you've got is you've got a crossing route and a deep post coming. 
both routes are going to beat man to man and both routes are going to beat zone coverage and then what you can do off of it like i said is you can take your inside tight end i would put him on a streak your outside tight end i would put him on a hitch route and then run that same exact setup and what you'll see get that motion over and now you're cooking with gas you can see this crossing route is going to be very effective against that man to man coverage so there's a lot you can do with this little scheme. Um, again, it's not too complicated. Another thing you can do out of PA Fork Shot, take Brait, put him on a little hitch route, and then all I'm going to do is just motion Goblin to the right. And now we're going to do the same thing on that side. As you can see, that route, when you motion it out, is going to beat man-to-man -man coverage. So a lot of things you can do from this. Like I said, if they're maybe they're running like, you know, maybe they're running uh, cover three, so I could go to PA Fork Shot again, and now I could take Brait, put him on a hitch. If I have tight end apprentice on Gronk, I could put him on a crossing route, and then my running back, I could put him on a little option route. I love the option routes out of the backfield or just a simple curl route. And what you'll see, this is going to create a really, really nice route combination that you're going to be able to throw against zone. You see that little cross route? You can underneath pass lead it uh, against that cover three if they're shading them back at, at 30 yards. Another thing that you can see from this, like let's say they run like cover two or something, then you're going to be able to do the same kind of kind of principle here. But now what you're going to be looking at is that post route just torches the cover two defense over the middle of the field. The other thing that is really, really going in your favor, in my opinion, with this specific play is if you run PA Fork Shot, you have this little route to uh, Mike Evans that's kind of underutilized, I think. Uh, but what you'll see is when he cuts to the left, hard, down, pass lead, click on, and you're going to get that nice possession catch animation 99% of the time um, against this, especially if they do something like run cover two on this. Now, if they deep half you and Mabel you, obviously their middle of the field is going to be open, but they're probably going to use her the post route. We're just kind of anticipating that. What you'll see on this right here is uh, I'm going to go to PA Fork Shot, put the tight end on a crossing route, put Braid on a hitch, and then you can leave the play action or you can cancel it, right? Um, but what you'll see is this route to the left side. Um, he's going to kind of get covered against that cover two uh, press right there, which is fine. What he's going to serve as is a runoff route for, um, in a cover two scenario, he's going to serve as a, like a little clear out route, basically, for Rob Gronkowski coming underneath of this play right here. So what you'll see, um, the post route, takes that safety out of the play and he's able to get hit uh, pretty well another thing you can do out of p4 shot let me just show you really quickly this is cover three and if they're not paying attention to their zone drops what you can do is you can hit them with this little crossing route to the tight end once he gets to the left side which you'll see you got that hitch right there crossing route easy read for the quarterback so there's a lot you can do with this um, this is in my opinion especially because this this PA counter waggle is, is the play that really in my opinion um, kind of completes the scheme uh, you could even run double crossers if you have a tight end apprentice which you'll see right here double crossers and then I've got the post you know this is a man killer as you can see but you know everything kind of works together really well fits together and you have some really good run plays as well you get the halfback wham which is one of the more unique run plays in the game. Now, if they're running a lot of cover three on you, you could call this uh, PA boot slide, and what you'll see is this route to the X receiver uh, will sometimes get open against cover three, didn't get open right there. Might have to motion out that left side guy um, to get that read. So like on, on cover three, what you could do, if you wanted to beat cover three, you could come out, uh, and like I said, you call the play PA boot slide. Just take Mike Evans, motion him to the left side, and I'd put him on an out route. And uh, what you'll see here against that cover three defense is just pass lead that route up. And you see that tight end's going to torch cover three uh, over the top for a pretty good game. So anyways, guys, that's a little mini scheme for you out of the single back bunch ace in the New England Patriots offensive playbook. Really, really good formation. Like I said, if you want to get more uh, from this, the ebook is on its way out this week. It will be out this week. So make sure to text me if you want to get that ebook. And then also make sure that you are uh, in the text message membership because we're going to release kind of a preview uh, with a full mini guide, honestly, from uh, we'll probably break down at least one hour or two hours 
of the guide just to show you and walk through you know, kind of some of the things that you can really do from this incredible offensive scheme. So make sure you do that. Literally, all you have to do to join is just text me. My number is 812-216-3644. And last but not least, guys, we will be live streaming tonight at uh, 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So make sure to come by the channel. If you haven't already subscribed and turned on notifications, make sure you do that um, as well. And real quick before I go, I'm just going to ask if you would not mind taking one quick second on your way out to like the video at the bottom right hand corner of your screen that really helps me out a lot and i don't really normally ask for that but gonna ask for it today just wanted to see what we could do on this video see if we can get this up uh to a couple a uh, couple likes so anyways thanks for your time guys really appreciate it and we will see you in our next video upload coming at six o'clock p.m eastern time